Hi guys, so let's now take a look at these different market structures in one lesson where we consider each of these five different areas that you must know for your business economics or theory of the firm units. Uh, we're going to look at each of these characteristics in turn, have a look at some good examples here as well. So this should be really pretty useful for you. Okay, let's get started with perfect competition. So of course, we've got a industry with uh, many identical firms uh, within this marketplace, the products are identical, there's none or very, very low barriers to entry, there's no control over price, they are price takers of course, uh, the concentration ratio is incredibly low, it's basically zero, no firm has any power over the marketplace, great examples include agricultural goods, but you could also extend that, and some useful examples if you wanted to consider technology and the impact of technology could be perhaps eBay sellers uh, where they're just reselling various goods where uh, they are price takers in effect and there's perfect information in the marketplace that you can compare prices very easily as a consumer as a business or alternatively it could also be uber drivers as well so uber drivers again they have to accept a given price within that marketplace and once again there is that perfect information uh, because you can compare different apps according to Lyft or Uber and the price levels they're likely to charge at a given point in time. Uh, monopolistic, right, where well, you've got many firms here, there's differentiated product, of course, barriers to entry are low or none. Uh, the firms control over price, well, they have some degree of control, but... There's, uh, and that is because of the differentiated products. So they do have some ability to actually make that price and be a price maker rather than taker, but yet there are a lot of substitute products available, and we saw how elastic their demand curve is likely to be. As such, they're only going to have some control over price, uh, and uh, the concentration ratio is going to be very low. Great examples include bed and breakfast, possibly hotels, Airbnb hotels, uh, as well as Etsy shops, those are nice examples to consider. Uh, again, relating this back to how technology can influence these market structures. Uh, so then we've got contestable markets. We've got few uh, firms, we've got a uh, differentiated product in all likelihood, no barriers to entry or low barriers to entry. The firm's control over price may be some degree of control, uh, the concentration ratio is likely to be relatively low. I've put down it lightly examples here as uh, restaurants or possibly food stalls or food carts uh, as they're known in the States. Uh, so uh, you can actually set up in those types of industry at relatively low costs. When it comes to oligopolies, of course, the number of firms is very few. Uh, you've got identical or differentiated products. they are barriers to entry. Uh, are very high and they're likely to include scale, economies of scale uh, and the cost base that the firms can actually work to as well as the marketing economies of scale. The firm's control over price is really quite considerable. The concentration ratio is very high. Uh, and Good examples, perhaps energy and phone service providers, supermarkets. Perhaps you could also use Uber as a good example there against uh, another competitor firm like Lyft. Uh, so uh, that gives you, again, uh, a really nice comparative tool. What about monopolies? Well, you've got one firm here. Uh, you've got a unique product, barriers to entry, where you've got the scale, the economies of scale, the scope of the actual market that they work to enables them to benefit from those same marketing economies of scale, as well as making sure that they have the best staff to actually uh, develop the, the best product theoretically, uh, and there's legal barriers perhaps in some circumstances which may prevent new entrants. So uh, when it comes to the uh, control over price, well, it's, it's really, really high. It's more an elastic demand curve, of course, uh, but it could be regulated by a market regulator, of course. So the concentration ratio, well, it's, it's 100 because we've just got one firm here. Uh, so what about examples where well, water providers, utility provider, water utility providers, you have no choice. You have to get your water from a given provider, but they do have their price regulated. Uh, now, 
you might also have local monopolies, which might include local football sides, as we've said. Uh, what about eBay? Is eBay a good example? Perhaps not so. Uh, not so much now because you've got Facebook offering a, uh, a sort of auction based site as well, haven't you, I believe? Uh, so anyway, interesting stuff. I hope that's been useful. See you next time.